All right. It is currently 9.05. This is your two-star platinum, Fred Howell, Helen under Detroit, CEO of Choices Legacy, guys. And we do have Miss Tony Ward, one-star platinum from California in the building. Tony, you there? Yes, I'm here. I would be no other place on a Tuesday. This is where I live on Tuesdays. <laughs> Absolutely, Tuesdays is the place to be, guys. We are just coming back off one of the largest events that Evolution Travel has had up to date. And that was our 2018 third annual convention, guys. If you do not and have not had any excitement coming back from that, guys, you're doing the wrong thing. So we just want to chime in today. Our normal Tuesday night call, it should be as many people on this call as possible. So we have to make sure the key thing to anything, if you're right now, anything today, guys, make sure you realize that participation is key, guys. Write that down, post it, put it wherever you need it to be seen. Make sure that's something that you wake up to in the morning so you'll realize that I have to participate some way, shape, and form for a company or an investment that I put my all into, guys. So I appreciate those who are chiming in, those who are on here ahead of time, those who are futurely coming in on the line, but this call is recorded. Um, but we just want to make sure we get um, our announcements out the way before we get rolling. So if we can um, – what, what, what events do we have coming up, Tony? You know, the main event that I think everybody should be um, focused on right now, well, there are two, Fred, you know, that as a company, uh, we need to make sure we're going to be at you guys. Write this down. If you don't write this down, if you don't write anything else down today, make sure you write this down. If there's somebody who can put this in the chat box, put this in the chat box. This information you guys absolutely need to know. Super, super, super important, okay? Our first event that's coming up company-wide, something that's going to be super fun, something that we live to do, something that we signed up to do, is going to be our company's retreat, November 1st through the 4th in Cabo. You heard me correctly, November uh, 1st through 4th in Cabo. Sweet. Did you say something, Fred? Oh, I thought you were saying No, something. I'm in on with you, okay? I'm, I'm, oh, okay, you're excited. Yeah. <laughs> you're excited. So, you guys, make sure you get your payments in. I believe, Fred, what is it, just $100 right now to hold your spot in Cabo? Uh, I think it's either 100 I think it's 100 if you're doing a payment plan, 200 if you're, you're definitely dedicated. But, I mean, from my understanding, I believe that this trip is only $4.99 a person. Oh, wow. Yes. You guys, you guys got to pay with that just right off rip, so you already committed. You know, right. one thing I've also learned, Tony, is just that in this industry, in the world that mm -hmm. we live in, one thing that really, really kind of, what, the, what is the word, grinds my gears is just that you guys sometimes make decisions based on your current circumstances. Yes. Now I want you guys to pick this up, okay? If you make a decision based on your current circumstance, the outcome will be a reflection of where you're already at today, guys. You got to think about that. If you want to prosper, grow, or change yourself or your situation, start making decisions based on where you like to go. And eventually, over time, things will start to, here's the big word, evolve, guys. Things will start to evolve into what you are planning to be instead of you guys making rational decisions you consider them to be based on your current circumstances. So here's the thing for me, guys, working, whatever, I don't even care. I didn't look at a calendar. I know that I'm dedicated to my business and I am definitely investing into it. When the company retreats pop up or the company conventions pop up, what I do is we book it, we set it in stone, and then we decide how to get there and what to do and what to do, what to move out the way to get to these events. And I think that is so, cru like, so crucial that every Elite Eight, every Founders Council uh, member, Every gold or platinum that's in this organization is definitely uh, dedicated to the business. We move in that direction. We make decisions based on where we're trying to go. And we all know that if we're going to be travel agents, we have to travel. And what's the best thing to do than to go to Cabo with all your friends and family? You can invite guests, guys. And yes. you get to be with the company's greatest in the industry, the founders, the CEOs mingle in another place in another time zone guys have a great time take pictures take memories and actually put yourself in a position where this is what we do so you get to show the world what evolution travel is doing because some of us don't have nothing to show nobody and we're still struggling day by day guys don't nobody want a picture of you at work they want a picture of you somewhere, <laughs> somewhere up under a palm tree somewhere where they haven't been 
and you are giving them an opportunity to go. We call that advertising. We have way better uh, perks and benefits with advertisement than any other thing I've seen, guys. I don't see anybody taking a picture in the plant saying, hey, come work for us. It's a wonderful right. thing. Like, right. they're taking pictures of beaches and resorts and things that are happening around the world, and people are enticed by that because we are in the largest, most sexiest industry that I know of. So that's my thing about Capo, guys. Start to plan to prepare to go to things in this nature that you're invested into instead of trying to figure out how you're going to do it. Guys, put the money down. Force yourselves to be great because that's the best thing you could ever do, guys. Force yourself. You're the only one who has the answer to you. So force yourself to be great and then make that force become a habit and enjoy all these multiple trips, man. We had a calendar that goes all the way out to 2020. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and, and I think I heard Europe in that line of guys. So yes. let's get focused. And let's listen, I'm planning to pay for Europe now. And I don't even know what's happening in 2020. <laughs> so here's the thing, guys. That's the thing. Start planning for your future. And, you know, some of us on the line, and here's the thing I've heard before, Tony. Somebody said, that's a little bit irresponsible to – pay for something you don't even know you can go to. Oh, my goodness. It, get, you want me to oh. repeat this? Listen, Tony, this guy told me. Oh, my goodness. I think that's a little bit irresponsible. Wow. To pay for something you cannot specify that you're going to make, you don't know a definite, and we got <laughs> real-life problems out here. That you know what that's called? That type of decision. You know what that's called, Fred? What's that called? That's called stinking thinking. You're stinking already thinking. thinking. That's thinking, thinking. You're already thinking something think. bad is going to happen and you're not going to be able to go. You got to get rid of that stinking thinking and think positive. Stinking thinking. You know, it doesn't make any go. sense for you to prepare. I mean, of course, you're supposed to, you know, they say have an emergency fund or whatever, but you don't prepare mm -hmm. for to, to fail, right? Like, well, I don't want to pay because I know something's going to happen. And wow. You don't think like that. You got to get you're rid of that stinking it, thinking. You're already putting it in the air. You're right. You're putting it in the air. Yeah. So, but that stinking thinking, I told this guy, I said, hey, listen, you joined this business with the mindset to think that you wanted to change your life. Right. But in yet, in detail, you're still deciding to be faithful to where you're stuck at today. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm going to let you marinate on that. And then when you decide to get out of your comfort zone and start preparing for your future, all you have to do is get with Art to Travel, make sure you make the arrangements, get yourself booked. So then that you have to start making arrangements to be great. Right. And then when I see you in Cabo, my friend, let's have a good time. Let's mm -hmm. shake and toast. And then we'll start planning for our next adventure in the awesome company. Of exactly. And but then, that you was, know, yeah, that was dope. The gist of it, I get it. I'm sorry. You know, I read your mind sometimes. But what everybody needs to understand, too, is. Cabo is going to be like the biggest travel party on earth. You know how you bring guests to see how we, the company, we always talk about this fabulous evolution travel. I mean, how many of you in the chat box, let me know, be honest. How many of you have had the, uh, your friends and family say, are you still going to be with those travel people? Are you going out with the travel company? Are you still with those travel people again? Why are you hanging out with those travel people so much? Yes, I'm it, going to Cabo. Yeah. So this is a perfect opportunity to let to them participate them in something that we, we know we are doing. We usually don't have outsiders in our inner circle. This is the chance for them to get a sneak peek. This is the biggest travel party on earth in Cabo. They get to come and actually experience our culture. And I promise you, you're not going to bring somebody to this event and have them leave not thinking about participating in what we're doing with Evolution Travel. I promise you that. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm, I'm, you know, with so many people, they, it cracks me up how they always uh, worry about how to share this business and how <laughs> to. And you know what? This is the thing. You know, I tell people all the time, like I, I, love, I laugh and I joke with Nan and, 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 and Nina Mitchell and, and other, you know, superstars in the, in the business. And, and, and like, you know, Yolanda Dean and Aisha, all, all, you know, the ones that I get a chance to talk to on a consistent basis. And I laugh and joke about certain things. But what I'm dead set and dead serious on is that I truly honestly believe that this business is something so duplicatable. All you have to do is stop giving yourself the excuse to not do what needs to be done. And this is what I mean by that. Like, if you get around somebody that's successful, if you ever meet Miss Tony Ward, and you ask her, what do I need to do next? 
I want you guys to write this down. Listen how simple this is. I promise you, if this goes over your head, you're either overthinking or underthinking, but we're not asking you to think at all. All we're asking you is just to do. I promise you, if you meet Tony Ward and said, Tony, I'm dead set on making it to the next level, no matter what it is, right? And I'm going to tell you this, and I hope that you guys understand, I'm not coercing with her. She's not in Detroit. We're not texting. But I promise you, she'll be able to, to be able to second notion what I'm saying because it's a written script, guys. It's simple stuff. Somebody's going to say, how do I get to the next level, Tony? I'm willing to do what it takes. I'm a bronze at this moment. So the first thing Tony's going to say, well, what do you need? Well, I need to be silver. That's the next level. Okay, she's going to ask you, what is it that makes you silver? Because here's the thing. We have to identify before we can actually work towards getting it, right? So can nobody say I want to be silver and tell you, oh, it takes five people to silver? Because then, you know, <laughs> they're not going to know, right? Right. So identify. She's going to ask you to identify what you need to do. Once you identify that, say, I need to go silver. She's going to say, all right, did you create a list? Did you set up a party? And have you talked to your upline about your game plan, right? So when you do that, right, here's the thing where people mess up. We didn't ask you to think about to do it. We didn't ask you what is the – all we said is, did you create a list? Did you, did you set up a party? And have you talked to your upline? So the honest answer should be, I'm creating the list now, okay? Well, I'm getting with my upline to set up a party ASAP. So that has to happen soon. And then it has to be a next step after that. So once you do that, guys, when you do that and you create that list, the list should be more extensive than you want, and it should be an overshot because once you shoot for the moon and land on the star, I think you still win, right? right. So you want three more people? I say invite 50, <laughs> right? I say invite 50, right? Because here's what's going to happen, the law of numbers. You invite 50 people, only 25 may listen. Out of the 25, maybe 15 might be serious enough to come. And out of the 15, maybe seven or eight might sign on the spot. So here's the thing. You guys shot for silver, but you just became a solid silver. Now, I know that guy, you guys, like, what's the difference between a silver and a solid silver? Well, <laughs> gold qualifies is the difference, right? So you got to have 15 people in your organization to even think about going towards gold, right? 15 total. So you overshot it. And then what happens is you're going to say, Tony, I did it. I followed suit. What do I have to do next? And she's going to say, uh, do it again. Uh, do it over. Uh, duplicate. Uh, repeat. And stay consistent and see what happens. After a full month of that, you might turn around and have 42 people in your business. Before you realize that you need one more. And then now you're making $1,000 plus a month. Because all you did was stop thinking and start doing. And the only problem, like I said before, guys, is we don't have enough people that's willing to copy the right cat. And that's the problem, okay? We got so many people that come into the business, they procrastinate, they slow down, they do it when they feel like it. When we ultimately understand it's not about when you feel, it's about knowing that ignorance on fire is key Come into business and come get what you came for. Solidify it to the point where you're not paying the monthly, less burden. And then on top of that, guys, come get some money out the deal. The more you do that and the more people we put in the system, the more we actually grow, the more bookings we can obtain, the easier this gets because I keep telling everybody, hands down, the bigger and better we get, the easier it's going to be for us to lobby with these vendors to become a simple, easy version of travel. Now, already we got the perks and benefits that will change the world, but what happens when we're 10,000 strong, 20,000 strong? Tony, what happens when we're 100,000 strong and we're I'm making a million dollars every week yeah. in travel? We're yeah. booking a million dollars in travel. What do you think Expedia Tap is going to do? What do you mm -hmm. think these companies are going to do? They're going to give it away to us. Because when we bring in that type of information and the type of travel perks, guys, and we're selling it across the world, it's going to become a household name, and we're going to take over the system. And that's why I wanted to touch on that real quick, Tony. Just, just it's just one easy perk that we can all can take advantage of. Right, and you know that kind of leads into what we're training on today because 
when you, you know, Fred, when you talk about all the different things that, you know, a lot of times people make it a little harder than it has to be. I mean, it's mm -hmm. so simple to just kind of um, express your love or your, you know, people follow people. They don't follow companies. People mm -hmm. buy into your enthusiasm. They don't want to hear all of the, you know, um, every, all the fine line type things. They want to know what this company is doing for you. They want to know how this company can benefit them. And you want to speak to whatever their issue is because they want to be freed from, you know, the, nine to five the, the the traffic the rat race you know which brings us to you know tomorrow tomorrow is the fourth of july right it's independence mm -hmm. day and this is exactly what evolution can give you it can give you your independence whatever that might be for whoever you are that freedom that you seek when it comes to you know um living your life you know fred pops up on facebook at a bubble party in jamaica when he's supposed to be at home in detroit that's what you call independence. That's mm. what you call freedom. That's what evolution gave him. And evolution can give you guys the same thing. And that's why we have these calls. That's why we have this, these trainings. That's why we have all the things that we put in place. Because by using those simple tools that we offer you, you too can be free. You too can be independent. You know, so it makes a lot of sense. When you celebrate tomorrow, Figure out in your mind how that independence works in your life. Are you really independent? Are you really free? What are you celebrating for when you have to be at work at nine o'clock the next day? Mm. When you have to leave that party, when you have to leave that barbecue, when you have to say, no, I got to get home because I got to go to sleep because I have to go to work. When you really want to stay, that's not freedom. That's not independence. Why are you celebrating instead of working for you? You have to really ask yourself the hard questions you have to really look yourself in the mirror and say am I doing everything possible I can do to make my independence not just one day a year but every single day of the year you have to really sit back and think about okay that lady asked me to book that trip for her did I put that on the shelf or did I actually sit down and do it immediately do I want that commission or am I just talking about commission I want what am I doing to actually meet what I'm saying. So it really makes sense, you guys. If you really want to be free, if you really want to go to, when you sit there tomorrow, you eat that barbecue or that salad or whatever it is you're going to eat, and you sit there thinking about, oh, it's Independence Day. Is it your Independence Day? Can you really say, I can leave when I want to? I can come when I want to? Am I really free? You have to ask yourself those questions. I mean, Fred, you see it all the time. We hear people all the time say, um, I want to have this or, you know, oh, Fred, you got a nice car. How'd you get that car? You can't get a Mercedes with um, Toyota Goals. It's not going to mm -hmm. work, mm. period. You're not going to get it. You're not going to do it. You have to actually put in the work to get what you want in the end. And a lot of times when you're working your business, um, you're talking about it. And man, we talk a good game. <laughs> but like the founder says, People lie. Numbers don't. At the end of the day, if it doesn't make money, people, it doesn't make sense. So stop doing it. Actually be about it and actually really participate in your own success and stop looking for somebody else to hand it to you. Like tomorrow means a lot more to me than you guys might really think. And it should mean a lot to you because that freedom and that independence is something that you should not take lightly. And evolution travel can give you the vehicle to get you anywhere it is that you want to go. If you want to be the number one travel booker in the world, evolution travel gives you the vehicle for that. If you want to be the number one recruiter in the world, you have that with evolution travel because you have a product that sells itself at a price that's not going to break the bank. So there's no reason why you can't get out there and reach those goals. If you don't know nine people with $30, guess what? You need to meet nine new people, okay? Wow. Because Absolutely. it's not working for you. Fred, what do you think about that? How do you feel about independence and freedom in tomorrow? Well, you know, you know what, Tony? If I can, you know me, yeah, I, I try to be, you know, uh, as straightforward as possible. Yeah. And, and <laughs> I just feel it on my chest to say a few things that might just <laughs> shake up a little something because, you know, I, I, I'm a very transparent person and I just don't feel like I need to sugarcoat your success because here's the thing. Here's the thing. 
it's a reason why we're relaxed and laid back and and so straightforward because here here's what i don't get this is what i, I will never get mm. we go across and run across so many people and their complaints their comments and concerns Ooh. Uh, we, we run across so many people with their uh, input and we run across so many people with their situations and uh, all the things they have to say about what they don't like in Man. life, in situations, in their business, in their, in their, in their jobs. I mean, in, in, in their livelihood, we run across that being um, motivational people, being inspirations to people. We run across those type of conversations. But what you guys fail to consistently realize, and I say in general, because I know there's a lot of superstars on the line and they're making great money, and I salute you. But to who I'm talking to today, somebody, somebody needs to hear this. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. I am human. Tony is human. And the only thing that defines and differentiates ourselves from most people is the fact that it does not get in the way from what we desire and what we want to do. Here's the end result though, guys, check this out. We go through the same problems you do. We have the same lifestyles and the same situations that you guys had or have been through. We've been through the ups, we've been through the downs, we've been through the, the arounds, <laughs> we've been through the hoops, I mean, we've been through the squares, we've been through the ringer, the mud, the pits, we've been through the trenches, we've been in the air, we've been on the ground, we've been everywhere. Look at this, Dr. Seuss in the building. Okay, I'm like, but what you have to understand, what you have to understand <laughs> is that we have not missed nothing you guys will ever miss. We've been through it all. The only difference, here's the difference, here's the difference, here's the difference. We are, we still complain, <laughs> we still have problems, but we fight through them, guys. We fight through every problem you guys are experiencing. We go through and we do not let it block our blessings. So everything that you guys are going through, we get it. And the only thing that really turns me, guys, the only thing that really makes me feel a little weird is because I I know I hear these conversations all the time. Uh -huh. And what, what, what grinds the gears, guys, is that when we give you the resolution, you don't do it. Repeat that. that right, oh, listen, I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again. For the people when in the back. give you the resolution, you don't apply it. And it... it you know, I just, I just, you know, I just, it, but listen, I'm, I'm, I'm forcefully stuttering to make sure that my words are very precise because of the simple fact that we know you guys don't follow suit. Cause I can easily tell somebody hands down. If you look and listen, make sure you apply it because what I'm going to do is give you the full breakdown of what has to happen next. And we always say key things. I want you guys to write this down. These are key things that make sure you are successful. And you know what, Tony? I am this close. I'm this close from guaranteeing it. Hmm. That's the reason why. I know it's hard. We can't guarantee anything in network marketing because it really depends on the person. But exactly. Tony, it, I'm almost this close to betting my bottom dollar and guaranteeing it because here's the key factor. We cannot read your mind. <laughs> Key right. number one. So if you have a situation, no matter what you think the problem is, bring it up and make sure we address it. Because it makes no sense for you to bump your head until you're beaten if you could just brought the problem to Goliath. We're Goliaths in the business, guys. Bring the small problems that is hurting David in the beginning. Bring it to Goliath and let's fix it. But learn from your mistakes and your situations, guys. Apply them later because what you fail to remember is it's a duplicatable business. It's going to happen to you. <laughs> so be prepared, okay? Be prepared. So as we move further along, we got the fact that we don't read minds. So bring the problems uphill, guys. Let us fix the problems. Let us make sure we engineer. So that's why I tell everybody, when you first get started, what's the first step? Talk to your upline, guys. 
Reach out to them and tell them what your goals is and what you're willing to do. Now, here's the next step. Then follow through with the rest of the program. Guys, if we give you some steps and it says if you do A, you B, you do B, you get C. This is the funny part, Tony. Check this out. We say you do A, you do B, you get C. Just like one plus two equals three. But some of you somewhere down the line think that one and three minus the two plus the four equals three. That's what we feel like it's going to be about. So you can't mm -hmm. rearrange the alphabet, guys. You do A, you do B, you get C. This is not you do A, you skip to Z, maybe W follows, and then M and L, and then maybe C. It does not work that way. So when we lay it out for you guys, and we tell you this is what has to happen from here, you have to follow suit, no matter the circumstances, because this is what happened to most of the people that have failed to hit the type of success they fathomed in their head is because we give them A and we give them B and say, this is what should come out of, out of A and B. You should get C. So when they first get started, they're excited and they do B. We like, okay, but did you do A? Well, I'm going to do A when I get a chance to. We lose the momentum. You turn around, we don't talk for two weeks because you don't feel like calling nobody because we don't know you in a rut. And then the momentum is gone. Then you have to fight the momentum again. Then you've already tarnished all your successful leads that should be because you told them things that weren't apparently true to you yet. So you didn't believe in yourself. So you messed up your first range of leads when all you have to do is not know anything and take the information gifted to you. And I'm promising you, I'm promising you, the easiest thing that to ever have done is to say, I'm excited. I'm so excited that I got started with this deal. You tell him what you want them to do. When you start feeding them too much information, guys, you start to lose the deal. You tell them, I, I was so excited about the information I heard that I got started. And I'm loving what I'm learning thus far. I wish I can explain it to you in total detail, but I'd rather somebody with more experience answer your question for you. Oh my God, raise your hand if that sounds too easy to be true. Listen what I'm saying, guys. Just imagine closing your eyes at work, in the car driving. I'm not even gonna look and see who's on the call. Look up in the air, it's a bird, it's a plane, but it's so easy to follow this plan, guys. Close your eyes and imagine that conversation with your friend. Literally call in your head, say, brr, brr. hey, listen, I am superly overly excited about what I just did and I have to share with you. Do you got a minute? Absolutely. What are you tripping on? I'm excited because I just heard some awesome information that I'm so turked up about, all the things that I learned that I'm going to be able to do in the near future. The weird part is, look at this. Watch this. I'm about to get somebody to sign up right now. The weird part <laughs> is, the weird part is, after I got excited, I thought about who will I like to share this with? And I thought about you. So I'm calling you today to have an open mind. I want you to share in my excitement because I just found out I may be able to travel the world at a discount and be compensated when I do it. I can do this from home. My tax benefits is about to be outrageous. And on top of that, I get to get paid to see the world. Tell me where I messed up at. Well, it might be one of them things like, hey, I don't even care if it turns out to be a thing, but this thing only cost me 30 bucks and I'm excited. All I need to know is you're willing to build it with me. I can't be skeptical and broke at the same time, bro. We in a bad situation. We've been struggling for months and we work at the same job. I would think that you would have the same insight that I do. Come on, guys. With that conversation right there, that person should sign up with you just off of pure integrity. And all you have to do from there is get out of your way and connect it with somebody that can help them and help you grow. Mm -hmm. But Tony, listen. Listen, Tony. Tony, listen. I'm listening. We got so many superstars in the world. They want to get in and run in the wrong direction. They want to get and go left when it's only a brick wall there. They want to jump over the they want to jump over the cliff 
when it's a ladder that tells them to clearly climb down and climb up the other side. They want to just be superstars, and we get it. But here's the thing, guys. Become a superstar when you can successfully explain what this business entails, and then you can do what you like. Listen, we're not mad at being innovative, but we're, we're angry at destroying the invention. Guys, did y'all miss that? Oh, man, did y'all miss that? Did they miss that one, Tony? We're not mad at being innovative, but we're, we're angry at you destroying the initial invention. You can't evolve, guys, if you have not. What, is the, what am I trying to say, Tony? You can't evolve if you have not been born. Is that right? There we go. We can't grow if we have not started, right? We can't do anything that will help us in this business if we have never started it out. That's why we always say hands down, Tony Ward, you can't mm-hmm. quit something, you never started. Right. Mm. Right. So, you know, that that's miraculously the problem, guys. We, we want to gift you guys the route and the procedure, but it just takes a little effort. It takes a little determination and a lot of simple duplication, a whole lot of excitement, and the ability to stop procrastinating with your level of success. Because I run into a lot of people that say, I've been in the business five months, four months, three months. And I say, well, what happened? They say, well, I just really got started yesterday. (laughs) They just murdered the whole point of getting started and running. Because I would rather fall downhill to success than to carefully take the stairs. Because I know for a fact, I'm going to get there, and I'm going to have a hell of a time doing it. So, guys, the path is right in front of you and very, very, very detailed. Because I, what we always say, Tony, the tools would never be our problems. Right. It's just the execution is killing mm-hmm. your business. So that's my little tidbit. Hopefully, I stabbed the right hearts, and I woke up the right souls. So that you guys understand that you need to be where you need to be, regardless of being appointed or told, because I believe everybody on this line is considered to be a grown individual. So you don't need your hand to be walked and raised. You just need a path to actually walk down. And that's all we're here to give you guys. So I think that is the drawback, Tony. Um, If you want to add to that, it helps. But I just would not just personally believe. Like, I just sit back and I just... I've been taught to wait till my next king or queen surfaces so we can go and change the game. Because after all this time, we've really, really learned how to not waste your time. Does that make sense, Tony? We've learned how to not waste your time. And the only thing we've mastered is how to identify potential. But the only drawback in that is that us identifying your potential doesn't do us any good you have to identify what you can be great at so i just say let us help right and i think that that's a i mean that's a perfect point like like you said you can't change the recipe if you've never successfully made the meal it just doesn't say it again one more time please 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 oh i need to post that oh jesus Mm. i said you can't change the recipe if you've never successfully made the meal somebody's trying to teach you how to do something and while they're trying to teach you oh well maybe we should do this and maybe we should do this and you know you're trying to make stew and you end up making meatloaf (laughs) instead of the stew it's because you tried to change the recipe before you've ever successfully made the meal and that's not um how you do things you know it just doesn't make sense if fred is a master chef and he's made this dish over and over and over again and people come from all over the world to taste this meal that he's made and before you've even literally tasted the meal you want to show him how to make it better you want to show him how to make it faster you want to show him how to do it the way he's never done before but he's telling you people come from miles around to eat my food how can you change my recipe when you've never actually made the meal and that's what we're trying to like give you guys today is that evolution you're talking to one star platinum who did it first two star platinum who's done it before anybody so obviously we know how to make the meal and we're giving you the ingredients and the recipe so it just makes sense to follow it if you want your meal to be as tasty as ours right if you want to eat for as long as we've been eating we're giving you all the tools so 
um, it's just a little bit frustrating is what he's saying when we have people who come into the business who don't want the recipe, who don't want our ingredients, who know way better than us because they think they know. And then, you know, it's like we put this effort into it. So you have to be really careful as leaders to really understand and follow that recipe until you've actually made the meal and it tastes good. And then you can go in and tweak the system if you want to. Like he said, you know, it's not that we, you can't be creative and do your own things, but let's be successful with the things that are done and then you can tweak it and have some success to back you up is the only thing that I guess people kind of miss that point um, sometimes. So, you know, we wanna make sure that you guys get everything. For those of you booking tons of travel, you know, we wanna make sure you have all the tools. We wanna make sure you get to the right Facebook pages, to the right um, people who are booking. We wanna make sure you're talking to an IATAN holder, you know, um, Nina Mitchell, Lynn, Terrera, me, whoever's out there and they actually have something behind them saying, hey, look you guys, that's kind of like your certification. You're actually booking it and guess what? The travel industry has recognized you as a booker because they don't give those IATAN cards to anybody. They give them to those who have proved that they can actually book travel and make money. Like we said before, people lie, numbers don't. You can't get those unless your numbers add up. So it just makes sense. And for those of you who want to build teams, you know, we're going to set you up with Fred Howe and um, everybody out there who's, who's booking, I mean, you know, golds and above, people who are out there actually building teams. Because in that same instance, I don't care if you're a booker, I don't care if you're a builder. Everything is based on numbers, whether it's your commission numbers or the number of people that are in your downline, your family. Numbers don't lie. So you want to make sure you're following somebody with a proven recipe because we want to make sure you eat in this game that we're playing right here in this travel industry. So make sure you guys are connected with the right people. Make sure you're on this call because I can tell you, if you look at this participant list, there are a lot of commas on this call. We are mm. hosting, if you actually look at this call, you got over a million dollars worth of income on this call. So Tony, Tony, it, Tony, Tony, can I add to that real quick? Just, yeah, I go just ahead, add to it. But you see where they are. They've mm -hmm. already made it successfully. Right. And there's so it's much more here. to do. You see where they still respond. I'm telling you, my mm -hmm. leaders hit me up every Tuesday. Be like, is the call on, boss? I'm there. They always, they, the leaders who've, who've achieved the successes mm -hmm. there, what does that tell you? Like, that means that it's a duplicatable system. And if you keep tuning in, no matter what you've done so far, or mm -hmm. even if you've already committed to success, guys, because listen, I made it to two star, but the only thing that fueled was the fact that it's possible. Like mm -hmm. Tony can hit two star immediately, right? Like, like uh, Lathaniel, Miss Mom's on the on the, on the line. She can go two yes. star, right? Yes. Like, 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 like Nina, Nina Mitchell and Lynn Hudson, they can go two star. That's all it says to me. It's not mm -hmm. about the money. It's about who who's gonna walk with us to the very tip top of this mountain. Exactly. It. It, I see, like you just said, there's there's money on this line and people don't get it. I mean, here's the thing. Oh, uh, they're talking about that $30 thing. <laughs> um, you know, they doing X, Y, and Z, guys. I confidently, confidently can pay attention to and look physically at over $100,000 in this deal easily. Mm -hmm. And that's that's a yearly, that's a yearly game. Let's add that to the right. mix. It's a yearly game. Because what you guys are missing, even if it's that $30 thing and they're just on the line doing that thing, we are on a training call that can possibly change your whole entire outcome right. in life itself. Right. And the people that are tuned in faithfully every single week are the mm -hmm. ones who have achieved their level of success and want more. So it's just a telltale sign, guys. Mm -hmm. It's a telltale sign. Like, like my mom used to say all the time. She said, everybody can't be telling the same lie. It's impossible. Right. It's impossible for, for all the elite eight, Mr. McCovey itself, all the, the founding councils of members to all tell you guys exactly the same thing. Right. Repeat the process. Keep moving until the job is done. Stop excusing yourself based on your current circumstances. Start planning to move as if you want to be great plan and plot for the greatness you're trying to achieve 
Guys, start making preparations for the future you're trying to evolve into and stop being stuck in the boundaries that made you pay $30 anyway. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm you know, it's, excited. It's, I'm it is. Excited. And it's the one thing I always ask people when they say, help me, it's not working. I ask them, were you on a Tuesday call? Oh, okay. You weren't on the Tuesday call. Were you on a Sunday call? Oh, okay. You weren't on the Sunday call. Oh, have you done any of it? Were you on Nikki Lee's live training for travel? She showed you live how to do it and she'll tr book anything for you. Oh, you didn't have time for that either. Okay. So how can I guide you when you've already been given the formula, but you refuse to use it. So basically what you're telling me is you want me to do it for you, that's not gonna happen. And that's what you hear a lot because all this stuff is here. This call is free, Zoom is free. The Sunday call is free. Nikki Lee's training is free. All the trainings we have are free. So there's no nothing holding you back from actually participating in your own success. It's all free to you to make as much as you want out of this business. And it just makes sense. This is a million dollar call. Think about it. You add up everybody's inf I mean, income on this call from Evolution Travel, this is a million dollar call. If you want just a piece of that million dollars, I would definitely suggest that you hop on this call, not at six o'clock, but at 555 to make sure you get a spot on this million dollar call because it's too much to be made. And I know we didn't come here to, to you know, play with each other's feet. We came here to make some money, put our feet in the sand, right? First to the bank, then to the beach. Let's get there. This is the first step to get there. This is your refueling. This is how you fill up your vehicle to get you to where you want to go every Tuesday at six o'clock. We should never have less than 300 people on this call. We got over 2,500 people just in our Raw Choices family. So, I mean, that's all I really have to say today. I have a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> I'm not to help, but I hope that hey, we did. Hey, hey, look, Tony, look, check okay. this out. If, hmm. if Here's my next post. I know you, you guys can do me a favor. That's what I want to add to that, guys. Exposure is key. Um, don't be afraid to share live videos. Don't be afraid to comment. Don't be afraid to tag people's name into the videos if you want them specific. Listen, the only thing you could probably happen to you if you tag somebody that don't want to be tagged is for them to untag or run away from you. <laughs> like, that's the only thing that's wrong with Like, the, you, you guys are so... Um, focused on what people feel and think and you're forgetting about your feelings as well like you want success go get it stop being hindered by what you think you're doing to people and start doing something to people does that make sense like you know people are holding themselves back because they're worried about what their friend is going to think but you're going to stay broke because your friend doesn't approve of what you do that's not something we should live by so here's the thing guys start making sure you tap into these posts make your own posts make it relevant that you're in knee deep into this business like i see 77 people it was 82 i see 77 people but 77 people should be quoting on facebook the things that are said so people can be enticed to know what's going on on these calls like what cause are you talking about like the post i'm about to put because she just said it is literally so simple um if i train and host on a, a call that has people on there that has collectively made over a million dollars. Don't I, am I, am I liable for million dollar training? Like things like that guys is just like, it's, it's mind boggling because if you just got on a call and you spoke, that's a post. Mm -hmm. I had an opportunity to share my life with a call with over a million dollars in earnings to people that wanted to hear how I was making income. Guys, that, that right there would have people like, well, wow, you're actually sharing your life with people who have made over a million dollars in business collectively on a call? Like, what are you talking about? What are you doing? What do you got going on that I didn't pay attention to at first? So you guys have to understand, this is called attraction marketing. Mm -hmm. If you're not attractive, you're not going to attract anything. And if you're not doing anything, you can't possibly do it. The right. guy said specifically, you're going to miss every shot you mm -hmm. do not take. You guys are willingly not picking up the basketball. Right. So, he, I, yeah, go ahead. I know you're going to close, but I don't want you to close before I say this. Because even if you don't have your own story right now, you have all the people on this call that have accumulated this over a million dollars stories to share. I mean, it would just behoove you to say, you know, what's that travel thing? You know what? I was on this call with this guy. His name is Fred. And... Um, he just woke up Friday morning and said, I want to go to Jamaica. And next thing you know, we see him in Jamaica. He's in, he's on, 
who does that? That $30 opportunity, let him have an opportunity to live the way he wants. So people don't do that. People say for months and months and months to go to Jamaica for a week. He woke up, paid his bill and went. Hello? <laughs> I mean, are you getting it or not? I'm, it's kind of like, um, they think that's just in the movies. No, sweetie, that's an evolution. That's not just in the movies. That's real life for real people who do real work and live a real way. This is like, you can do this. There's, I'm not interested, Fred, love you to death, but there's nothing special about Fred. He just followed the system. You can too. And that's what we're trying to tell you. There's, I mean, it's just about how much you want it, how bad you want it, and how well you follow directions, period. And there is something special about Fred. So, but you know what I'm trying to say. Okay, Fred, you can close now. <laughs> well, considering the fact that I'm not a special guy that has made over a quarter million dollars in this business with the $30 investment, I will be just as regular as it takes. But I've heard somebody, <laughs> just to close the call out, guys, to let you guys know that somebody said to me one day, that it sound cult-like and it sound like you guys are brainwashing people. So <laughs> I want you guys to realize this. Somebody brainwashed me. And if this is the definition of me joining the cult, sign me up and where's my role? Because Please. I want you guys to realize that I'd rather be brainwashed for successful things than be subjected to living that lifestyle that I know is dead wrong. Okay? Right. So with that being said, guys, I hope you are brainwashed today. And I hope you are cult-like tomorrow because those are the people that duplicate, replicate, consistently reproduce the success of their mentors and their, and, and their, their peers in a business and in a setting. So if that's the definition, guys, we can rewrite the dictionary, put your name right next to it and say, hey, I'm a successful network marketing cult member that has made multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. And I did it from not paying attention to the other cult-like life that I did not like. So that being said, guys, I salute you. I appreciate you for tuning in. Those of you who have been dead set, I'm going to find a way to faithfully find out who's our diehard Tuesday night training Raw Choices collaboration yeah. coach. I need to find out who's the dedicated diehards. One day I'm going to be able to identify you guys because I owe you guys as much success as I have I've achieved. So I appreciate you guys for listening. Tony Ward, appreciate you guys for definitely listening to her. We both have a lot to pour. We just want the cups that are willing to overflow. So I salute you guys for chiming in. This is the end of our training call this Tuesday. I see you guys next Tuesday. Hopefully to see every single one of you guys in Cabo. Hey. So have a great time. Pay attention to the pages, guys. Pay attention to the events. I know we have some popping off all over the place post-convention, guys. So do not miss it. And do not be hesitant to participate, nor or you should be hesitant to create an event because I know Mr. McCovey would love to visit some awesome places. And we're going to make sure that you understand that Detroit, VA, uh, California, Atlanta, Florida is not the only places Mr. Founder wants to go. Okay? So let's give him some destination, guys. Let's give him something to do. Hell, give us somewhere to go. That's what I feel like. So we got some events coming up, guys. I salute you guys. Meet you guys at the beach in the bank. And I hope you guys have fully been brainwashed. Salute. <laughs> have a successful night and a successful evening. See you guys later. Have a great evening. Good night, everybody.